Are there gaps starting to form between your flooring and your baseboards? Well, stay tuned, I got some solutions for you. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. You might see these gaps between your flooring and your baseboard and you're probably wondering what causes these to happen. So unfortunately, as your home gets older, the wood inside your home starts to expand and contract depending on where you live in the United States or wherever you are in the world. Depending on the humidity and the climate, the temperature change over time, the wood starts to shrink and expand. Unfortunately, these are the things that we can't control and eventually it will happen. If you're lucky, it might not even happen at all depending on the quality or the build of your home is. Within this video, I will show you some few tips and tricks that you can do to remedy this problem, starting from the easiest way and going up to the extreme way of fixing these gaps. Now, one very easy and pretty cool trick that you can do, and it's very cheap as well, is go find yourself a piece of wood. This one is a piece of plywood. Make sure it's just a sufficient a size amount, enough that you can put your knee in. Now, we're gonna place this piece of plywood right on the very edge of your baseboard just like this. Now before you try to attempt this, make sure you assess your baseboard. Most of the time there is caulking right on top of this. Now unfortunately you will have to get a utility knife or a piece of razor blade and you will have to score or cut that caulking so that you can loosen up this baseboard. Now also unfortunately this might not work for everybody because sometimes these are nailed onto your studs and it's very hard to press down with those nails on there. But if you're one of the lucky ones that these are brad nailed on, now if you know those brad nails are 18 gauge and they're very, they're not that strong, so with enough weight, they will bend down. This will not work for everybody, but it's worth a try. So make sure you take all those what I said into consideration. Now with that being said, let's go try and push this down. Now I would get your brad nailer ready. This is 18 gauge brad nails that I'll be using. I'll be using my Nail Force Work Nitro. Again, all the tools that I use within this video, if you're interested, I'll leave all the links on the description down below, including this tool right here. As you're applying weight on the top, notice how the baseboard is already starting to go down. So we're gonna apply a little bit of weight here. Just take your brad nailer and just shoot a nail. Just like that. So like what I mentioned before, this technique is not meant for everybody, but it's worth taking a try to see if it works. Sometimes those nails or those brad nails are dug in deep in there and you might have to dig your, through your baseboards to find those nails and take those out using some pliers or whatnot. And then you'll have to patch all those damages with some wood filler, sand it, and then repaint it. That's just how the nature of this project is. Sometimes you get lucky and it's that easy, but sometimes it's a lot harder and you might have to do some extra steps. With that being said, let's get to the next technique. The next solution is probably the first one you thought of even before we even that first one. And that is, that's right friends, using quarter round or shoe molding. Let me show you how easily you can install this to fix these gaps. If you haven't seen this before, you can easily find these on the trim section in your Home Depot or Lowe's. Quarter round is, it's both even on each side. Shoe molding, one side is longer than the other as they are pretty flimsy as well. I'll put it right against the bottom of your baseboard. You will have a little bit of gap right on the bottom. The beauty of these things is right when you press down in the middle, it will go with the contour of your floor. It's not as noticeable if you are far away now, unless you're really, you have somebody that's really observing your flooring. Take your brad nailer and just shoot some nails on different areas, just like that. One nail already fixed the problem right there. Same thing goes with the shoe molding. I'm not gonna do this one because it's pretty much the same thing. You will have to put it on the short side and then the long side will go right against the baseboard. Just now, I don't know where you are from where you're watching, but from where I am, I can barely even notice where that dip is now. Now, if you really have that guest that really is very observant and they know exactly, they might spot it. But if I was a guest in your home, I wouldn't be going around and checking for the height level of these things. Now, unless I'm one of those guys. But the only downside of this, friends, is that if you go and install this, you will have to go through the whole run, depending on how long your baseboard run is, to make it uniform throughout the perimeter of your home. Now, these aren't that expensive, but it will it does get expensive if you have a whole length that you have to do. So 
make sure you take that in consideration plus you have to go and paint these some of them are painted these ones are primered so it's totally up to you also you have to take in consideration the time and the paint that you will have to spend to paint these when you install it other words it's very discreet it works let's get to the next one now this next method I guarantee you friends is very easy to do and that's by caulking the bottom of this baseboard but there's a lot of caulking types in the market right now but for home inside use I like to use this dap stretch caulking this is my number one go-to because it stretches a lot and it allows for expansion and contraction especially when you have floating floors or hardwood floors over time that floor is going to move back and forth side to side and you want to have a nice caulk that can withstand that expansion and contractions also take note that there's many different types of colors when when it comes to caulking i suggest that you use different types of colors and play around depending on what color your floor is and this last method that i'm going to show you is probably the hardest one to do and if try it with your own wrist friends and it might work for your situation and it might not but I did something like this where there's a dip on your floor. What I told you before, your flooring will start to sag over time. Well, depending on what flooring that you have. Now, if you have vinyl plank flooring like what I have on this mock-up, you can go with this method and it's worth a shot. And I've done this before on this video where I actually fixed those gaps between these holes using a syringe and some caulking. So if you're interested on that video, check this video out right here after you watch this video so you can kind of get the concept of what I did there. And we're going to apply the same thing on this area where this baseboard and this floor meets. Now looking at this floor, it looks fine, but if you push down on there, there is a hollow spot somewhere around here. You might have to go and push down on some areas where it stops and you're gonna have to assess where that hollow spot ends you can mark it with masking tape now this will apply on vinyl plank laminate flooring only so make sure you take that into account the syringe that we're going to be using you're just going to have to match how wide this syringe is now if you're interested in this syringe i'll leave a link on the description down below this method might not work for everybody and make sure that you check the warranty on your floor if you have warranty on this i would not advise you to do this but do this at your own risk once you find your spot you're gonna drill right on to where you want to put that syringe just gonna go gently start drilling okay so that's the perfect one if you do get this syringe right here this bit size is 964 i'm not going to fully do this on this video because i already made a video on this so check out this video right here to get the full detail that's a completely another video for this you're gonna take this out put the desired caulking that you want you're just gonna slowly inject the caulking right inside of your flooring the good thing about vinyl plank flooring or laminate is that if you look at the material that this stuff is it's kind of plasticky and on that video that i made right here it shows you how i can how you can actually cap this by soldering it so that you can make this hole discreet after you do the fix so there you have it friends those are my few tips and tricks that you can try at home so you can fix those huge gaps between your flooring and your baseboard let me know in the comment section down below which one you found super helpful which one you're willing to try and if you have a few up your sleeves that you want to share with the community please share it down with the, in the comment section down below and share it with us your techniques that you do to fix those big gaps if you're interested on any of the materials that i use within this video i'll leave all the links on the description down below if you found this video super helpful friends please hit that big thumbs up press the subscribe notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next video